all, welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Oodles Oodles. Today we are reviewing Cesspool of Corruption's EP, Eradication of the Subservient. Uh, this EP was originally self-released by the band back in 2016, uh, but it's just now being reissued by Gorehouse Productions, and this is definitely uh, worthy of a reissue because I was not familiar with the band. They were not on my radar till I got sent this promo. Uh, but this definitely is something that deserves to be heard by a wider audience. Um, the band is a four-piece from Dallas, Texas. They play a blend of brutal and technical death metal. Uh, but what's interesting about Cesspool of Corruption is there's this undercurrent of melody that kind of flows through the EP. Um, don't get me wrong, it's quite brutal, and the songs are very intricate, but there's this undercurrent of melody, and I'm not talking about full-on mellow death, you know, I'm, we're not talking about an In Flames or Dark Tranquility type situation here. Uh, brutality is first and foremost, uh, and again, you know, they've got that technical flair. Uh, Approach-wise, not so much similar sounds, but in approach, uh, kind of reminds me of another band from Arizona called Vehemence. Uh, if you never heard them, they put out, I think, three albums back. I'm not sure when their last one came out, but uh, God Was Created and Helping the World to See. Those were both on Metal Blade, I believe, back in the, I want to say, early to mid-2000s, maybe? Anyway, besides the point, just trying to give you a frame of reference, um, you know, uh, for what Cesspool of Corruption does on this EP. Um, each song has its own character. You know, it's technical, but it's not overly complex. Uh, the songs stick in your head, and I think that's very important. Uh, something that's missing from a lot of brutal death metal or tech death, you, the songs don't stick with you. But in this, uh, each one is different. Each one has its uh, merits, and uh, the whole thing put together is really fantastic. Uh, probably the best track on here is Humanoid in Form. That's the last track on the EP. And it's nine minutes long, but it's... Uh, one of the rare long songs that actually has enough ideas happening in it to justify its length. Uh, the EP was completely remixed and remastered for its re-release. And guys, uh, this really sounds fantastic. It's just so heavy. Um, you know, the, the, each instrument can be heard and it really helps accentuate uh, what these guys are doing in terms of songwriting, which... It's kind of amazing. I believe I read in the uh, bio that uh, these few, these five tracks that are on here were the first tracks that they wrote and recorded together. And uh, to hear that level of advancement in, for a first attempt is pretty crazy. I mean, these are some really good songs on here. Um, amazing that they were the first songs to be written. That's just crazy to me. Just goes to show you uh, how much merit Cesspool of Corruption has as a band and uh, it's well worth checking out. It's pretty cool to see uh, Gorehouse Productions uh, branching out and uh, putting out some diverse stuff like this. Um, you know, they're mostly known for straight up brutal death metal and slam, so it's cool that they're uh, willing to take a chance on a band that's doing something different. And again, uh, I'm glad to see this EP get resurrected uh, from 2016 because these guys, again, they I have to be honest, they were not on my radar, but... Uh, uh, I'm happy that they are now. I look forward to seeing what they do next. It's progressive, it's technical, it's brutal, it's melodic. Uh, these guys have a hell of a lot to offer, and yeah, I, I, I absolutely can't wait to see what they do next. You know, I'm sure these guys have been working since 2016, so uh, excited to see how they've developed uh, from then to now. But in the meantime, definitely check out Eradication of the Subservient. And then just so you can see the CD itself, front cover back cover with the tracks, the Gorehouse Productions logo. Open up this bad boy and you've got uh, credits on this portion or on this panel. And then on the inside, of course, you've got the uh, CD itself and the lyrics to each track on here, which is always cool to have. So really nice package from Gorehouse. I wouldn't expect anything less from these guys. Uh, They've been on fire. Uh, they were on fire in 2020. It looks like they're going to continue that into 2021. Uh, they've got some releases that are definitely well worth hearing. Uh, in the meantime, though, be sure to check out Cesspool of Corruption. And I think that about wraps it up, guys. Again, be sure to check this EP out if you have some time. If you're into stuff that's brutal yet melodic, 
technical yet not overly so, uh, definitely give these guys a listen. Until next time, thanks for watching and take care.